good morning and happy new year it's january 1st today this is day five and today we took it easy we slept in a little bit we're heading to the steakhouse at the contemporary for lunch um and then we are heading to epcot but we're gonna have a little a small breakfast now to hold us over and then we'll head over to the contemporary so here we go okay so this is they have a little uh like play area for the kids and then they have this big giant rock <laughs> with a slide in it. And then this is the main pool. And there's bathrooms. Oh, and there's bathrooms in that middle thing right there. Pretty cool. And this is the other pool. It's usually more of a like quiet pool. There's a bar over there. You can do refills of soda over there. Zero entry too, just like the other one. And there's little cabanas you can reserve too. Got the Tonga toast and a kids waffle. Okay, we walked over to TTC from the Poly to get to Epcot. Oh, how was your Tonga toast? I loved it. I actually see how long this is gonna last. Oh, it already stopped when I started recording. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Epcot. Oh. We're popping on to Living with the Land. It's currently a 15 minute wait. It is 12.40, so let's see. It's dead though to imagine the holidays without winter and snow. But one of the most important holiday crops they actually enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa. Thanks to this tropical plant. And Mickey. Vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. We ended up waiting 20 minutes for living with the land, and now we're out here. And Joy is out sure? here yeah, really. frolicking. That would be awesome at the end of it. Just every All the bloopers. <laughs> there she is, awesome. dancing around. If you don't care about being on a ride with people that you know, um, I would suggest doing single rider on Test Track. We just went through that, um, and we literally walked onto the ride, like right on. Um, and like I said, if you don't care about being with them, like we're all together, there's four of us, but we're like, I don't care if we're going on the ride with you. Just uh, head on over there, and you don't have to wait. The line was. 45 minutes, which isn't awful for test track, um, but when you can literally walk on, you could probably go on the ride like five times instead of waiting 45 minutes. So. In China, if you go all the way back to their stores, you can try Chinese vodka. Thank you so much. stores in Disney, Mitsukoshi store in Japan and Epcot. This is the violet sake you can get at this hut as soon as you leave the Mitsukoshi store in Japan. Aurora is out here talking to people, or as my husband would call her, Aurora. <laughs> We're at the crepe place in France, the new crepe place. This is what they got. It's right near the new Ratatouille ride. This is the bechamel and shush. And this is the brie crepe. So, not a fan of the Le Crepe de, uh, savory crepes anyway. Um, let's see what Jeffrey has to say. 
it? A uh, one out of ten, Jeffrey. Uh, five. Five. Wow, but you're not. It's absolutely horrendous by itself. <laughs> but with the filling, it's pretty good, which brings up to a seven. So. Do you want to give your review? Sure. Yeah, the buckwheat is uh, it just sets it apart. I'd give it a five as well. All right. I think the sweet ones are better. How about you, Leanne? Sweet. Sorry, but if I, we're just hungry, so we're eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so savory ones, eh, not so much. Um, obviously, try for yourself if you want to, but the wheat crepe is really strange. Um, it has a really strange flavor. It's a sampler in the cauliflower at Spice Road Table, I think. I think that's the name of it. It's the hummus. That's like the most amazing thing anyone's ever done. What's that one? How do you say that one? Um, mole? No, um, they're grape leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, grape leaves. So pretty at night. Alright, so we're heading on to Ratatouille. We have a lightning lane for it, so we're gonna head on. It's pretty busy in this little area. Here. Tomorrow morning we head back home. So we had breakfast already and now we are heading to Hollywood Studios. to uh, Hollywood Studios because we had a park pass reservation so we had to ding in over there and, uh, so we could go into another park later but it is insane Toy Story Mania is currently an 80 minute wait so <laughs> we did some shopping we watched the cavalcade and now we're gonna head to Disney Springs all right so you cannot take a bus from Hollywood Studios to Disney Springs. So we took the boat to Yacht and Beach Club and then we're gonna take a bus from here to go to Disney Springs after we look around a little bit. This is their cool fancy slide at Yacht and Beach. It's a sure. It's so pretty in here for Christmas. Oh, they got a little village. I wanna see this little village. So cute. Cute. We've got like a like at some shirts sure a ski resort, but mm -hmm. looks like the skyline is. Captain Jeffrey. Yes. <laughs> Child. <laughs> oh, 
so nice. It's very fancy in here. Here's the pool. I believe this is the lazy river and then they have the slide on the other side. Oh yeah, the lazy river goes right that way. Apparently, this is our next uh, I need the lazy river hotel right. according to my husband. We're supposed to be staying at, uh, what's it called? French, French Quarter in February, but we might, we might be changing it. <laughs> this resort also has an arcade like the rest of them right here on the side of um, Beaches and Cream. So this is the resort that has um, the ice cream shop. I'll show you guys, hold on. There it is, it's Beaches and Cream. It's right outside the pool area. So they have inside seating and then they have a couple of cute little ice cream tables out here. And this is the beach club side um, lobby. These cool little chairs. We got the filet sliders. No, no, thank you. And this is the avocado toast that they have on their brunch, um, their brunch menu. And these are their breakfast rolls. Oh, I ruined the picture. You did. <laughs> it's the new spirit jersey. Look, they have it here too. I haven't seen this before. Oh, that's so cool. It's Maui. I haven't seen this one yet. It says Wayfinder on the back. That's really cool. The Baymax. So cute. What does have on the back? Big Hero 6. It's pretty cool. The food at the boathouse was amazing, per usual. We love the filet sliders already. We tried the avocado toast. This time it was on their brunch menu. Um, oh, there's one people here. It was on their brunch menu. Um, and we've never been there when they're also serving brunch. So it was nice to try it. So on, I know it's at least on the weekend they do brunch. I don't know if they do it um, all week, but it was delicious nonetheless. We came back and we were hanging by the pool. Went in the pool. Now I'm gonna hang, uh, gonna head to get a dole whip at Pineapple Lanai. And then I'm gonna go hang at the pool again and then we're gonna head to Epcot later on. There's all the deliciousness. Yum. If you are looking for Space 220, you just look for Mission Space ride and it's to the right. In just a few moments, you'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. Enjoy the ride. Air, the latest in space elevator engineering. Looks like we lucked out tonight. The atmosphere is clear, and we have a spectacular view of the Eastern Seaboard. Thank you. <laughs> this is our grow zone. It's our hydroponic garden. How we raise our vegetables up here. <laughs> oh, it hit me in the face. <laughs> Ooh. That's funny. This is the buffalo cauliflower. And this is the deviled eggs, which look delicious.
if you're looking for a cool non-crowded spot to watch the fireworks. Um, it's pretty far away, but it's a perfect view when, um, at the TTC when you get off of the monorail. Just go to your right and you get this view.